Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrea and I have been selling on Etsy for eight years. So uh, this channel is where I share all of the things that I have learned about Etsy in the past and all the things I am currently learning about Etsy and marketing and all those sorts of things. So today specifically, we are going to be diving into one of my favorite Etsy strategies. Uh, we do this literally all the time at my shop. We've talked about this on this channel before, but we're gonna deep dive into how to duplicate a listing on Etsy and why you should. So that is what we are going to be talking about today. Like I said, duplicating listings is part of our strategy at my own Etsy shop. Um, it's actually a huge part of our strategy, so we do it quite a bit and we're gonna unpack all of that. I wanted to let you guys know that I break down my branding and optimization strategy, part of our branding and growth strategy, in my free Etsy masterclass that you can check out. You can sign up for it at the link in the description. It is completely free and we break down my three-step framework for branding and growth on Etsy. So make sure to check that out at the link in the description. Let's dive into all things duplicating listings. So right out the gate, I want to share with you guys my screen so that you guys actually know how to do this. And then we can break down all the reasons why I think you should, but let's jump into my screen and I will share with you guys how to duplicate a listing on Etsy. Okay, so duplicating a listing is is super simple. Obviously, everything starts in your shop manager. And then from there, we're just going to head over to the listings tab. Once you get to your listings tab, just locate whatever listing you are wanting to duplicate. Don't click on it, just locate it. And then say I was going to duplicate this first one right here. All I would do is click on the little settings wheel and then hit copy on the drop down menu. And then I would be editing a copy. So this is just a copy exactly of that listing. And then I would go in and make the changes that I want to make, which we're going to talk about in the video. But um, this is how you actually get the copy. And then you would just hit publish copy in order to publish an exact duplicate of this listing. Okay, so now that you guys know how to duplicate a listing, let's talk about why you should, why we do it, all those sorts of things. So I have three reasons why we do it at our shop. And I'm gonna break all those down. First things first, I wanted to say that this, this strategy is very specific to Etsy. Uh, we do not duplicate listings at our Shopify site. I mean, we sometimes duplicate them for like convenience sake, which is one of my reasons, but anyways, we do not duplicate them for strategy at my Shopify site. And I do have people that either don't sell on Etsy or want to sell on Etsy and don't yet or haven't heard of the strategy. Uh, they're like, why on earth would you do that? Why would you list the same item twice? Which seems so counterintuitive, uh, but it is a strategy that works really, really well on Etsy, which we're going to talk about. But uh, yeah, this is a Etsy specific strategy. So if you are on another platform, I can't vouch for its effectiveness on another platform. However, I will say that it's very effective on Etsy. So this is Etsy specific. Another thing I need to clear up really quickly is that this, it is a myth that there is a penalty for duplicating listings on Etsy. Completely not true. There is no penalty for copying a listing at all. Um, so if you've ever heard that, I know that that's like a rumor that circulates around. If you've ever heard that, it's not true. So the first reason why we duplicate listings at our shop is that sometimes it's just convenient. That's the first first reason. Sometimes it's just plain convenient. If you're new to this channel, uh, you might not know that I have an embroidery shop. Embroidery comes with a lot of um, details always. There's a ton of details. Like we have to include thread color charts and font charts and all sorts of things on every listing that we have. And so duplicating is just plain convenient. It's just easier to duplicate a listing than it is to start from scratch on every single one. And I imagine that you will find that at your shop too, just because there are certain things that are probably if you're in any sort of niche at all, unless you sell like random stuff, if you're in any sort of niche at all, I think you'll find that um, it's very, very effective and very, very handy to just duplicate listings. So obviously that is not a strategic reason. There is SEO strategy involved, which we are gonna talk about next. Those are my two and three reasons, but sometimes it's just plain convenient and that is reason enough for me to use the feature. I think every single listing in our shop was a duplicate of something. Like we very, very, very rarely list uh, like brand new listings. So 
sometimes it's just plain easier to duplicate a listing instead of creating a new one from scratch. So diving into the second reason that we duplicate listings is for testing. This is probably the biggest reason that we duplicate listings. Um, two and three are the biggest reasons. Testing is so important to know what is working for your shop and what is currently working in your niche. So there are a lot of different things that you can test whenever you duplicate a listing because you're making an exact copy. So if you have an item that is selling really, really well, you can take that item duplicate it exactly, change one thing about it, and then test that thing that you changed. It is so good for knowing what is converting in your niche and working in your niche is to test via duplicating a listing. Okay, so you might be thinking that's awesome, but what do I even test? Like, what am I, what am I trying to test? So there are a few things that we test regularly in our shop. You can see this in action. If you go to my shop, it's called Saltwater Prep. You can definitely see some best sellers that are testing literally all of the things I'm about to say. So we will test, most often we will test new thumbnails. Um, and so we'll just take the exact listing, duplicate it exactly of a bestseller and flip it out for a new thumbnail and see what works. And then we take that information to our next photo shoot and say, okay, that is selling really well. Like photos that are flat lays are selling really well right now or, the, or a selfie is selling well or whatever. So we test thumbnails very often via duplicating listings. The next thing that you can test really, really easily is keywords. So you can flip out keywords. So if there's a lot of different ways to describe what your item is, you can test keywords on that. Uh, you can even get crazy and only use one keyword. So we talk about optimizing titles a lot. Um, yeah, you could get crazy and only use one keyword and literally just see which one is converting better, which one's working better, and then take that information with the rest of your shop. Uh, that would be a really cool thing to do. I should try that. Uh, just because it's only 20 cents to duplicate a listing. So you can get a lot of information if you're willing to put the time in to duplicating and really testing some stuff out. The last thing that we test, uh, but you could, you could take this infinite amount of ways. The last thing that we very often test is different products. So we'll duplicate a listing and change like something similar. Like if we had a wallet, we try a wristlet or an iPad case, we try a laptop case, those sorts of things. Um, different products, very, very good for duplicating listings to testing out which one is converting higher and getting better reviews and all those sorts of things. Obviously this takes a lot of time, so don't duplicate a listing, test it for a month and then delete it if it's not doing well. It doesn't hurt your shop at all, literally at all. And so uh, definitely you're gonna need to give it a lot of time and a lot of data points to make a decision based off of, off of um, your testing. So you definitely wanna have like a lot of data points before you're like, obviously it's this and then take your whole shop a direction where it's really just you got lucky. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of data points is what you're gonna need in order to get testing. The third reason that we duplicate listings is that it just gets more of your products out into the algorithm. I don't know why this works, but it does. It just does. It's one of those things. It works for Etsy. If I had all the answers and I worked at Etsy, maybe I could tell you why this works so well. I don't know why it works so well, but it really does. Just getting more of your products listed and out into the algorithm works really, really, really well. This is obviously a really straightforward reason. Very, very simple. Etsy just seems to be the type of place where more is more. If you have more listings, you'll probably get more sales. I know that sounds terrible, and I'm not the type of person that's like, you have to have 100 listings in order to get sales. However, if you have more listings, it does seem like you get more sales on Etsy. I'm sure there's a lot of people who can prove me wrong, but that is our experience at our own shop. So if you have experience with that, leave a comment and let me know. We see this in action at our own shop during our busy season with our Sherpa listing because we have that listing duplicated several times and we will get sales every day all from different listings. So we have one that clearly is the most popular one, but we have other ones that are still generating like thousands of dollars of revenue during busy season. Um, and they're just copies of the other listing with a different thumbnail. I don't know why it works, it totally does. And I'm not so sure that we would have missed out on that revenue if they would have clicked on the other one, but I'm just saying that we do see a huge benefit in having multiple listings out in the world. So that is definitely not very sophisticated business advice. It's probably not what you would hear in a marketing school. It's pretty scrappy, but I'm just telling you that it works, okay? I don't know if this is like, this is definitely not like, the, okay, here we go. This is the best business advice. I'm just saying that it works. That's all I'm saying. I know that sounds terrible. Okay, so those are the biggest reasons that we duplicate listings at our shop. If you are watching this, you might feel overwhelmed because maybe you have 30 items and you're like, do I have to go duplicate all of them? No, 
You do not need to go duplicate all of them. If you're wondering where to start, I always say to start with your five most profitable or your five best sellers. Hopefully there's some overlap there. Obviously that's always a goal is that there's some overlap there. Start there and then start working through your other Etsy listings or duplicate those even more. Make five copies of each of those and don't even worry about your ones that aren't selling anyways because they're already not proven. So you will hear on this channel all the time to double down on listings that are already selling. Duplicating listings is one way to do that. So duplicating the listings that you're already selling really well and testing them and just getting more of that product out into the Etsy algorithm is a good way to kind of double down on those products that are already selling super well. Like I said, guys, this is not the most sophisticated business advice in the world, but it totally works. And yeah, I expect you guys to see some really good results if you go and duplicate your listing. So definitely let me know if you guys do it. I really hope that you guys do. Um, if you are interested in growing on Etsy, you are in the right place. We talk about Etsy literally every single week on this channel, two times a week. And so if that is what you are interested in, do hang out here and subscribe. I am so thankful that you're here right now and I hope you choose to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video.